Mario. Hi, Francisco. How are you? Good evening. Good evening. I'm doing okay. Thank you. How are you? Very good. Actually, I'm answered the platform right now. The knowledge check. Okay. But I don't know if this is okay because they, this is the continuous about the the direct and indirect questions. Okay. And oh, well, I uh, I start to to answer the question, but I don't know if is this okay. Good. Let, let me know when you get the score. Okay. So I so I can give you suggestions on how to do it. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Good. So how was your day today? Very good. Um, I have a a very soft soft day in my work. Okay. So actually, because they we have a soft day, I'm here in English class. Okay. Because the the last month uh, I have a very tough uh, financial Most... closed statement. Statement, yes. Right. It's like Sierra Contale, I don't know how to say Sierra yeah, Contale in, yeah. in English. Yeah, uh, 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 the closing of an accounting statement, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. The last month was very tough, but right now we, uh, will be... Uh, it will be easier. Will be easier, than, yes. Okay. So for that reason, I'm here sharing uh, with you the English class. <laughs> okay, so October is the month when you close your annual... Uh, Report? No, no, no. Uh, but we have a quarterly, quarterly report. So okay. even after uh, finish a quarterly month, uh, it's it's very tough. The the financial right. statement close period. Yes, right. Because we have to present to the other uh, branches. No branches. It's like, uh, do you know the? SEC, do you, do you hear about the, the SEC, SEC? No, what is no. it? It's like, a, for example, if you work in a company that he invests in, in the New York Stock Exchange, uh, they have a commission that they have a like an audit for all the companies that uh, invest in New York Stock Exchange Commission. So okay. New York Stocks. So for that reason, we have to present um, reports to the okay. SEC for that re for that uh, revision. Revision uh -huh. is okay. Yeah, revision or checkup. Uh, or checkup, yes. Uh -huh. So for the reason is 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 complicated if you put uh, bad information uh -huh. in a financial in financial statement close in every every quarterly report mm -hmm. so for the reason it's very tough and uh, in the last two months we have a a new software from the company so we migrate migrate, migrate is correct migrate migrate we we migrate all the information from uh, oracle oracle software and Put it in the new one. Migrate the information to us. Yes, put it in the new one. Okay. So the 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 last month was very tough in my in my job, but actually in this month was easier. Yes. All right. Good. Good. I'm but glad. I like I I I don't know why, but I like the job. So good. <laughs> you know, just like people say, <laughs> when when you enjoy what you do, you never have to work. So you said, I enjoy this. So yes, it doesn't feel like work. Totally. Okay, good. Hello, Julia. Uh, nice. Teacher, how are you? Good. How was your day, Julia? Was my day? It's my day off. So oh, was nice. okay, good. Erenia is back. <laughs> Hello. Hello, Erenia. Hi, good evening. Hello. Erenia was missing. Yes, I have been working uh, a lot because we are in the final evaluation. So I was preparing the quizzes and the tests. Right. But it was, it was because, I don't know how to say this. 
por gusto because we are going to change everything because of the of the emergency and all the the things that right that we have we haven't done so we have to change right all that we have done so you mm -hmm. have to move it to a later date yes but not only move the 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 dates but to redo or remake the, the tests because we are going to do only one evaluation and we have prepared two of them for each subject. Okay. But as we didn't work this week, we have to eliminate, eliminate one evaluation and make only one that contains everything or something like that. Okay. Now, do mm -hmm. you make two exams? Um, for security reasons or or it's just part of the process in your school no we we prepare a quiz and uh an exam okay uh-huh for each subject so right. it is because it's the way to evaluate okay yeah because in some mm -hmm. institutions they ask you okay like if you're teaching this subject mm -hmm. when, when 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 it's time for evaluations they ask you to present two exams, you know, the same topics, but two different exams, and they do it for security reasons. And uh, then- No, in this- Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. No, we prepared two, but they are completely different. Different topics. Yes, different topics. Or maybe the, the same topic, but with a different structures. For example, the quizzes are more like exercises and the, the exams are like a comprehension or text that, that they have to understand and, and apply some information, more textual, okay. something like that. Okay. So they have different structures. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so welcome back, everybody. What is today's date? November 4th. Yes. 4th. What year? 2020. Exactly. So let me see. We're going to 2.8. Let me see this year. A Gmail. Give me a second. I forgot to leave my email open. So are you guys ready for Christmas? Hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, what, no, it's why too not? early. It's too early for thinking yeah. in Christmas right now. I don't feel like Christmas. Yeah, me too. No, yeah, no, yet. No, yeah, it's not ready. Yeah, it's a little bit too early. Yes, we have to think in Christmas at December first of two thousand twelve. Right. Yeah. Yeah, in Christmas, you know, this year is going to be. Uh, very different than how it has been uh, all these uh, past years. Yes. So, yes, with, for this pandemic situation. Exactly. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, like, we have almost 1,000 victims so far in El Salvador. Uh, I know that there is more, but we're talking about uh, 1,000 families that will be incomplete yes. so anyways um so let's let's practice a little bit with this topic with the direct indirect uh sentences questions uh i was giving you the example um how do you say que hora es in english what time is it what time, what is, time it? is it that is direct yes how, how can you transfer that question to indirect I'd like to know what, what time is it? Yeah, no. what time it is. What time, what time it, is? it is. Yes. Remember, when you're, when you're doing the indirect questions or sentences, verb to be uh, goes at the end. So if I say, uh, where is he? 
that's a direct question. How will you transfer that question to indirect form? Where is I he? Would like to know. Where is I would like to know. I am guessing, I'm wondering where he is. Yeah, I would like to know where he is. I am guessing uh -huh. where he is. Do you happen to know where he is? So when you're do, doing the indirect questions or, or, or sentences, you know, you just put in additional information to the question or sentence you're making. So um, volunteer to do the first exercise. Will airlines ever stop losing passengers luggage? Uh, I think I wonder if will airlines ever stop losing passengers luggage? Yeah, that it's is okay. Good. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I wonder, or you can say, I ask myself, uh, or if you're talking with another person, say, do you happen to know if airlines will ever, and then you go with the rest. Okay, mm -hmm. um, Julia, do you want to try number two? Okay, just wait a second on the, on the screen. The number two will be, how do, you, how do I correct a mistake on my phone bill? Uh-huh. And uh, um, could be, I'd like to know, uh -huh. How I correct a mistake on my phone bill, for example. Yes, yes, excellent. Yeah, but uh, I've been working in the, this part on the platform and uh, the system does not uh, allow me that. Uh, that uh, uh, yes, answer. me too. Okay, okay so and I, I have I, the... Uh -huh. This, the number two and the other, the, the other uh, that I have a, a problem to, is the number, let me see, the, the number five, I'm looking out in the platform uh -huh. because I'm not sure what, what, what to answer. Okay, we'll, I, uh, will, I will double check. Yes, Mario? And I have a question for number two. Yeah. If it's correct that we have to finish this, this sentence with a, a interrogation? Okay, uh, yeah, with the question mark. Uh, with the question uh, mark, yes. Sometimes it's necessary to include the question mark, sometimes you don't. So they program mm -hmm. the answers in a different form. Uh, so sometimes it's needed, sometimes you don't need it. So you will say, well, I'm making a question, so I need to close the question with a question mark, mm -hmm. but sometimes the question mark is not necessary. So it, it's, it's tricky, it's tricky. Okay. So I will double check on this section too. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes, teacher, please. Okay. Uh, someone else, number three, Irania, can you do number three? I think it is the thing I don't get is why I can't use my cell phone in an elevator. Okay, good. Excellent. Number four. Let's see who else is here. Uh, Jose Aquino, do you have number four? No, teacher. Hello. Okay. No, I don't. I don't have, but I could try. Okay, please try. I, okay, I uh, let me check. I want to find out. I want. I want to find out tickets to sold our concerts. Okay. So, anybody else wants to try with number four? I want uh, to find out how, how can, can I get how can I get tickets to sell out concerts? Okay, I want to find out how I can get I can um, get exactly. yes tickets to sold out concerts. Okay, very good. Uh, Number okay. five, anybody? Oscar. Good evening. Let me try. Okay, go ahead. When will the government deal with global? Well, warming. I wonder when okay. will the government deal with the global warming? Good, good. Um, I wonder. Uh huh. Yeah, nice and maybe simple. Maybe yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Number six. Anybody else wants to do number six? I've been trying with uh, with uh, this number six, but I've been trying with uh, why people complain so much. Uh huh. Comma. It's something I can't understand. Okay. 
Okay, that, that, that is correct? possible. It's possible. But remember that uh, um, when we are in a real life situation, in a real conversation, you can express your ideas in different ways. Mm -hmm. Now, the platform has been programmed with particular answers. So even if your answer is good, it's not registered in the platform, it will not read it. So I will double check on this section too uh, to give you guys a, a feedback. I already tried with the people who complain so much. It's something I can't understand. Okay. But neither. Okay. So let, let me double check and, and, I'll, and I'll share my observations with you guys. Okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Um, any questions on this section besides the issues you're having with the platform? No. No? Okay, so let's go to the conversation section. I have a question yes. about the, the number, let me check, and the exercise 2.5, because 2 .5. I, I couldn't fix number two and number three. Okay. Somebody help us in the oh, group, 2.5. I, I couldn't fix it. Yeah. So you're talking about previous exercises? Yes. Okay, give me a second. 2.7, 2.6, 2 2.5. All right, um, what is, which one are you talking about? Uh, number two and number three. Number two and number three. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, who was the person that I sent these uh, answers to today? Yes, somebody. Jose Ramos. Jose Ramos. Yes. No, but but yes. I, I sent the, the the okay. Let let, let me yeah. check. To me. So, yeah. So so I share I share the answers with like with the people that were asking in in the chat. So can, yeah. can, can you send me the two point five? What is Teacher. it? Yes. Number two. Number two. Okay. He, uh, his. His number per pres prescription is, and you put the number. Right, right. So let, let me check. It is, uh, uh, and you need to put the space between the numbers. All right, let mm, me check, yes. let me check. Yeah, and for number so three, you have to put the- Yeah, so you go 555-333-5100. Five, 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 mm -hmm. uh, so 555-333-5100. Five, 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 three, 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 that should be the answer for number three. I I wrote that, but it's wrong for me. Really? Yes. That okay. Is, okay, so maybe, <clears throat> okay, so you need to write his phone number is, and then mention yeah. the, the number that I gave you. Yes. But I only uh, space put a space between seven and zero. Okay, let me see. In the number two. Yes. That is in the number two. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, number two. Like his prescription number is zero four two twenty seven space space exactly yes zero eight eight three seven. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Right, so sometimes, you know, the reason why the platform doesn't read your answer uh, properly, it's because uh, maybe you're putting all the information together and there needs to be a space or the opposite. Maybe you're leaving a space and the answer has to be all together. Okay. So it's a matter of, of trying. Mm -hmm. So, but any other questions in, in this um, exercise? Look at the answers. So right here, with, with number two, you need to leave space. With number mm -hmm. three, you're supposed to write a dash, you know? So yes. it, you're, you're talking about numbers, but they are spelled, uh, they're written differently. Yep. I, I don't know, but I, I have wrote that. I have written that. And... Uh -huh. I have this 
be wrong. Okay. So <laughs> I, I don't know what can be in that case. Maybe you're putting a period. Maybe, as you can see, the answers do not have a period. So double check and make sure that you're not okay. uh, writing a period at the end. Okay. okay. Even though you should because you're closing a, a, a sentence, but, you know. Okay. All That's right. Fine. Any other questions or comments? No? All right. So let's talk a little bit. New share right here. Do you have fears in your life? Yes. I have fears. Yes. I have fears. I have fears. You know, I, I ride a motorcycle almost every day. And and mm -hmm. I ask myself, I mean, is this going to be my last trip? Or because you, when you're in a motorcycle, it's more, it's more dangerous. Yeah. And in this situation, it's more dangerous too with right. the, with these storm, storms. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I was in San Salvador this morning um, and it was very windy, very windy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I came back to Lourdes really fast before the rain began. So, okay. So we have 10 questions. The 10 questions are related with, uh, with fears. Let me make the groups, create rooms. Uh -huh. And... We're gonna send this person here and let me check. All right, good. So answer the questions, um, try to speak as much as possible. And once it's loaded, you will start doing the talking. Loading, loading, loading. What about Nubia? Let's see, Nubia. Hi, Nubia. Hi, Irenia. Hello. How are you How today? Are you doing? I'm all right. I have been resting the whole day, so I'm very relaxed. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's see what is the first question. And it says, do you have any form of for In my case, I, I have a phobia by, by water. I, I, uh, I, water. yes, I, I was uh, swimming but uh, because I, I can swim, mm -hmm. but when I stay in the water or in a pool or in a sea, I feel really afraid because when I was 12 years ago, mm -hmm. but when I three 12 years, uh, years old, mm -hmm. uh, I was um, ahogándose, how do you say ahogándose? Drowning. I, 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 I was drowning, and this is the reason that I have a phobia mm -hmm. for the for the big borders. <laughs> okay, do you still yes. swim? Yes. Okay. But but I but I can to to superar overcome. I I, I can to overcome this okay. problem. Okay, yeah, and that is part, you know, like usually when there has been a, 
a bad experience is, is mm -hmm. natural. It's normal that people stay with phobia uh, mm -hmm. for, for, for the event that he or she experienced. Yes, yeah. and I know I can, I know I, I can swim, but always, always when I, I am in a pool or in a sea, I feel a, a, a phobia. Okay, all right. Okay. Interesting. And what were you afraid of as a shell? Snake in real life. In real life. Uh, yes. In my case, it's different because when I see it in the TV, it's not like I have the fear, but I, I prefer not to see them because I know that I'm going to have nightmares. Okay. And you, Nubia, do you have a phobia or paranoia or something like that? Uh, in my case, I think um, I fear to mouse. <laughs> mm. When... Okay. Yeah, when I, I I saw I how do you say gritar? <laughs> scream. Scream. Yeah, scream. Scream. I uh, scream. <laughs> okay, I think that is because the the mice are disgusting because they live in the in the garbage and like that. I think, but. I don't yeah. know if that, that is exactly a phobia. Yeah, it, it's natural, you know, like try mm -hmm. to prevent mice it's, and rats. It's the, same, it's the same with the cockroaches. For example, if I see a cockroach, I prefer to run because some of them fly. So it's, <laughs> it's, it's very difficult to, to kill them because when you are getting closer, suddenly they, they fly and... Right. I don't know. I don't <laughs> like them. Right. <laughs> okay, let's see. The other question said... Be like afraid of all the time because of that. Because life is too short to be afraid of things, <laughs> you know. Yes, to have fear is too short. Yes, to have right. fear. Okay. What facial expression accompany fear? Mm, ah, that's interesting. It's kind of. Ah, mm -hmm. uh -huh, it's kind of difficult to explain it. Yeah, people make but, uh, funny faces. Yes. <laughs> and the other yes. one that I just screen. <laughs> right. Yes. Yeah. But how do you say, teacher? When when you make this? Uh, frown. You frown your face. You frown your face. Yeah, you frown yes. your face. Well, yes, when people is afraid, they, they frown their faces. Like right. This. Or they raise their eyebrows too, like uh, mm -hmm. like the, the like the typical face people make, you know, like they go like, oh my God, you know, they raise their <laughs> eyebrows. Yes, they, they raise their eyebrow yeah. yeah and those are expressions that people make without planning it i mean you just they just come natural <laughs> yeah you're right you're yep right. so that's that's how it is yes yeah people do make faces <laughs> when they are afraid right yes. okay <laughs> wow uh -huh. yes i remember that uh huh. So it's okay. It's okay. After after the, you know in the La Ofensiva, I used to feel the the shots on the board. But uh, when the when the shootings uh, when when the shootings uh, went down, I used to go out to see the the dead people with, with my friends. I was that was sick. I didn't know by when I was a child that was. That what was what part shooting. of San Salvador were you in? <laughs> I, I was in, uh, you know, Ciudad Cris? Yeah. Uh -huh, the Teleferico's neighbor. Right, 
Right. Se refiere con usted. Ajá. Ok. So, there, uh, I don't know, I used to feel, but I wanted to see the people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were uh, young and, and, and brave and, and curious. And... No, no, I, I wasn't brave. I mean, I, I, I have a lot of, I was afraid of them. Okay. The shootings, of the shootings. All right. I was afraid. Okay. Jose, we were curious at the same time. Uh -huh. Right. How uh -huh. old were you when, when, for la ofensiva? What was your age? I was, uh, let me check. I was, um, it was in 79 or 80. I was 16. No, it was in 80. Nine, 89. 1989. 89. 89. 89. Yes. I, maybe I was 16 or 17. Yeah, because in 19, 1989, I was 17. I was 17 uh -huh. years old. I was 17. Me too. Mm -hmm. I was uh, 17. And, and that's it. I, I used yeah. to do that. So, what about you, Jose? I, 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 I was born in... Yes, I was born in 72. Too. Uh -huh. Okay. Maybe we are the same age. Uh -huh. and, yeah. And We're about the I, same age. Yeah. Yeah, I was born in 1971. Okay. <laughs> yes, I remember when, but I, I lived in that time, I lived in Sonsonate. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was wrong with my grandma, and mm -hmm. she was very scared because uh, supposedly the military or guerrilleros. Uh -huh. Yeah, and guerrilla, and they, guerrilla. The guerrilla, they they want us for, uh, to I be part say, of. Them. They were they, they were recruiting. Them. They were recruiting. Right. recruiting yes. yes. Both sides. Both sides. The, the first man, the guerrilla were. Recruiting. Yeah. Uh -huh. You don't yeah. know who who was behind you. <laughs> right. Once, once uh, we we have to leave the house and we have to hide to close the a uh, big saber. Uh -huh. Really? To hide. To hide. Yes. From the yes, hide. If we are uh, four or five cousins, mm -hmm. when we are to earn the same age, my grandma was very scared. Right. So, the, the big three, the big three, cover the other side, the big three, mm -hmm. covered us, but on the other side was uh, the realists. <laughs> they was uh, they were uh, shooting and they were scaring. How do you say gritando? Screaming. Because screaming because they they were uh, hide, uh, hide, 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 hurt hurt. They were hurt. 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 So okay. that's what they. Uh -huh. I, I, I used to fear. Uh, I used to fear the fact of being recruited by by uh, by the guerrilla or, or by the. The or the army, army. Yeah. the army yeah. or the army, uh -huh, the army. And once I, I, I was on the on the truck. I mean, the la guardia took me. <laughs> okay. My mother went to save me. I mean, yeah. she, okay. she told me I was, I was so young. I was sixteen. I was sixteen, and my mother went to tell them that. So I was so young, and and okay, she saved me. <laughs> by that time. Okay. Uh -huh. You know, and that's the main reason why my family and I, we left yeah. to the United States in 1986 because mm -hmm. they were recruiting people, you know. Mm -hmm. And my mom and my dad, they had four boys, you know, including mm -hmm. myself. So they were afraid that the army or the guerrilla, they would take us. They said, nah, let's leave the country. So that's why we mm -hmm. left. Mm -hmm. But where are you living yeah. in that time? Uh -huh. I was I was um, near downtown San Salvador, two okay. blocks from uh, Parque Bolívar. Okay. Calle Gerardo Barrios, right there. I know, I know that place. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So I was born and raised in that area. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I remember that I, I would go to Liceo Cristiano Central in that year, and I would go to Mercado Central, catch La 2A, and go to school. Okay, but what time? What year? 1986. 1986. Yeah. Okay. We 86. left in 86. So we were not here for La Ofensiva. We heard about it, but we did not witness it. I see. 
Así no más. When did you uh, come back? Así. When did you come back here? I the first time that I came back was in 90 95. 1995 was the first time that I came back. I came back with my parents. And uh, so nine years later was the first time that I came back. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I felt, you know, I found the country very different. You know, nine years is not a long time, but you can see differences nine years later. So. Uh -huh, you saw the, the peace time. I mean, right, right. Uh, the post war. Right. So uh, when you came, when you, by the time that you came, you saw the post war and maybe right. you like it. You like it. Yeah. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I was in love with the country when I came back, you know, uh, because I was supposed to return with my parents and I told them, uh, let me stay for, uh, for a little bit longer. And they told me, you can stay, but you have to do one of two things. Either you go to university or you need to start working, but you're not going to stay here just because you say so. So I began going to university. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's my story. <laughs> wow. Yeah. We, we're about the same age, and I, and I, and, and I, I see it. Yeah. Yes. Uh, I, I have to say, I feel uh, empathy. With right. You too. <laughs> right. What year uh -huh. were you born, Oscar? Uh, 1974. 74? 74. Uh -huh. Okay, 1974. Yeah. So I'm the oldest here. I'm older uh -huh. than you guys. So you are. You are from 72, 72. 71, 71. 71, okay. Yeah, 72. Almost, almost 50 years, huh? Yeah, I'm going to be 50 next year. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I'm excited to hit 50. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay. And Good I luck. wish... Yeah, and I wish I, I were younger with the uh -huh. thinking that I have now, but it's not possible. Me too. Me All too. right. I wish I could go back yes. 10 years, 10 yeah. years ago and, and with today's make, mentality. Uh, make another choices. Yeah, yes. make other yeah, decisions. So man, uh, but, make another decisions. Uh, another thing uh, I miss is when you go to rest in the middle of the street. Yeah. Yeah. And you are talking with your friend or you exactly. are playing soccer. <laughs> exactly. Uh, uh, with a little soccer. stone on the street. No, this right. the post war unluckily the post war came with the with the guns. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, so, that's true. So, that's true. Yeah, the guns movement is Yeah, they uh, changed the country uh, a lot radically. Of the, uh, actually we are in a siege or what to say in a what? Sitiados. Siege. Sitiados. Sitched. In a sitch. Yes. How we are in, a, in a, we are sitched in our house. Yeah, you can also say yes, yes, uh, what is that? Uh, curfew. Curfew. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. we, yeah, we can wear like some time in a curfew. We are on, uh, imposed by the by yeah. The, by the guns. Yeah. So yeah. that's the that's the 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 only thing about the, the peace peace times. Right. Peaceful times. Anyways, anyways. All right. All right. Let me visit other in other, other yeah. countries. Like like at the end of the world. <laughs> but yes. not is it. <laughs> yeah. Totally. Uh, yeah. People have more stress at uh, at different situations. Yes. In this time with social media. This exactly. This kind of mm, news are very fearless. Uh, how do you say? Get question are, fear. Mm -hmm. are are we in the number eight or the number or the number nine? Number seven. We're still in the number seven. <laughs> but, oh, okay, but sorry. We can.
Mm -hmm. Go tell your mother. Because I had the last class ending at 8 p.m. So I, I was getting home at around 9.30 because I studied in San Salvador and I live in Lourdes. So it was a once that one friend and I were traveling in a 101D. So uh, I think there were only two more passengers in the bus and my friend and I. And uh, uh, I don't know if the, if the guy was doing drugs or something like that, but he stood up and he started to scream, scream to, to us and asking for our cell phones and our money and everything that we had. But he didn't have a, a gun or something like that, not even a knife or, or a or a blade or something but the the face of the of the man was like he was high so we we felt fear but we didn't give anything to the guy because we didn't see a gun or something like that but i think it is the only situation that i had experienced when i had a, a lot of fear i think it's, it's just that okay. that one Okay, you mentioned, uh -huh. I'm sorry, the, yeah. the, you mentioned that you live in Lourdes, right? Yes, yes, I live in Lourdes, in Campos Verdes. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. I, we are, uh, we live in the, in the same neighborhood. <laughs> you really? live in Campos Verdes, Walter? Yes. Okay. Ah. So, where in Campos Verdes? What part of Campos? Uh, uh, Campos 2. Okay. I live be between the Campos Verdes 1 and Campos Verdes 2. It doesn't belong to any of, of, of them. It is like in the center, in the middle. I don't know if you don't know if you know the La Finca del Amparo. Yes. So I, I... live here. Oh my God. Mm hmm Yes, I know. I know that I, I, <clears throat> when I was a child, I was visiting that um, thing. <laughs> yes, uh, it was it a cafetal. <laughs> yes, I was working uh, over there with my, uh, my parents. Oh, nice. Uh, and Nubia, do you live here in Lourdes too? No. no. I live in Ilovasco, Cabañas. Ah, Ilovasco, so far. Uh, and you, teacher? Where, I, I, live in, I live in Lourdes, Nuevo Lourdes. Oh, my God. We're, We're neighbors. <laughs> uh, yes. yes. <laughs> We're neighbors. Yes. Yeah, yes. Lo, Nuevo Lourdes used to be uh, coffee plantations, too. And, yes. And, I think most of the... Of the of the neighborhoods, neighborhoods yeah. uh -huh. right and all of you um uh, um uh, how to say weren't here uh no i am originally from downtown san salvador by gerardo barrios near los ilustres ah okay so i was born and raised there and uh I came here because when I met my wife, no, she's from here. She's originally from here. So uh, I, w when we met, I used to live in La Santísima Trinidad in San Salvador. So La Santísima Trinidad to Lourdes, you know, was a little bit far. Mm -hmm. So I decided to move here and here I am. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you travel every day uh, from Lourdes to, to to cross Los Chorros Street. Right, right. Every day, every day. Okay, me too. And I. That's I, a nightmare. Yeah, it can get a little bit difficult <laughs> at times. You have to be patient. Yeah. 
I used to travel to San Salvador when I was studying in the university and I and when I was working and I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> and where do you work? Where do you work? Yeah. Who? And you? I I work here in Lourdes. It's in a private school that is uh, before Eliseo Castilla. It's a small private school that is before that one, in the same uh, road. Is it next to Holcim? Yes, it is. Oh, okay. Have you seen it? Yes, because uh, I used to teach in Holcim, and mm -hmm. uh, there will be times that uh, the noise was, uh, there was no noise, <laughs> and I will hear the voices, and I asked them one time, is there a school near here? And they say, yeah, we have a school next door. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, good, good. All right, let's go back Thank to the you. main session. Okay. Okay. Thank you, now. All right, all right. All right, any questions or comments about fear? Interest uh, topic. No fear. <laughs> no fear, huh? Just like the brand. No fear. <laughs> okay, good. All right. So now we will go with some uh, with a list of vocabulary that are adjectives. What is the function of an adjective? When do we use adjectives? To describe. To describe okay. The right. Okay, we use adjectives to describe. A verb, to describe a verb, describe a verb. Okay, all right. To join, yeah, could be. join center. Right, yes. So how many parts does grammar have? Do you remember how many parts we have in grammar? In Spanish, yes, but in English, I don't remember. Okay, uh, the American- 12. Okay, we have 12 tenses, uh, which is a little bit different than, 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 than the parts of grammar. If you study American grammar, it is divided in eight different parts. If you study the British version, it is divided in nine parts. Do you remember the difference between the British and the American grammar? I haven't seen Okay. That was a never seen before. I I never I've never seen before that before. Okay. So um, the difference between uh, American grammar and, and the British version is um, the article, the definite article. Do you do you guys remember the definite article? T H E. Yes. Uh huh. So uh, the British they consider a uh, definite article to be part number nine. And I agree with them because uh, it, it, the message of what you're saying changes completely when you include the definite article. So, but Americans, they say, no, uh, it's just another word. It's not, it's not part of, it's not part of the eight, uh, parts of grammar so let's see where is I cannot find who is the man what did I do with that document is it this one here I don't think so let me check no or is it I don't remember where I put it. It was somewhere here. Yeah, I, I don't remember where I put it. You see this one here? Uh uh. So I don't. I have no idea where I where I left it. And it was somewhere near here. So anyways, um, let me see. 
2.8. We'll find it from the platform, 2.6, 7, 8. Okay, right here. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, yes. You yes. have a list of vocabulary. All of them finish with the ED form. Uh, you have annoyed, baffled, confused, demoralized, depressed, discouraged, enraged, frustrated, humiliated, infuriated, insulted, irritated, mystified, saddened, and stunned. So we use them uh, to express your feelings when you're not feeling well. Um, do you have any questions about meaning or pronunciation? What is the no, meaning the of baffled? Oh, baffled? Uh -huh. yep. Buffle, buffle is another form to say very surprised, like, like perplex. Okay. okay. Baffled, yes. Any others? Uh, Enraged. What is it? Enraged. En yeah. Enraged. Enraged. Yeah. Enraged means very angry. Very angry, yeah. So all, all these um, adjectives have a negative meaning. So you don't want to feel like this. You don't want to feel annoyed. You don't want to feel depressed. You don't want to feel insulted. You don't want to feel stunned. So, okay. And remember the same rule that you apply when you are pronouncing verbs in the past tense with the ED, you apply exactly the same rule with adjectives. So you never say annoyed, you say it annoyed. You never say baffled, you say baffled. You don't say confused, you say confused. So, and that's how you pronounce the ED form of this adjective. Any questions or comments? Uh, the adjective that is below frustrated, I can read it. Humiliated. Uh, humi oh. Yeah, humiliated. Yes. Okay. Any questions or comments about this vocabulary? No. Uh, the the okay. mystified. 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 Yeah, mystified. Mystifying, there was an in excess song. Okay. What's mystified. the meaning of mystified? The meaning of mystified? Uh huh. Uh, it's related with mystics, like related with religion, like. Uh, how can I explain this? Uh, you feel like. Uh, connected with something that is not natural, mystified, like, okay. yeah, like mystical. Uh, like uh, when uh, people believe in a, uh, in a uh, wish. Maybe, yes. Yes, that's a good example. Okay. Yeah, mystified. Yep. Okay, mystified. Like, like when you experience a deja vu, you know, it's a mystified feeling. Yeah. Okay. Deja vu. Yeah, deja vu. Have you ever experienced deja vu? Yes. Yes. No. Sure, all the time, yes. all the time. Yeah, you say, man, I lived this before. It feels so real. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other questions or comments? What is the meaning of the last one? Stunned. Yeah. Stunned is another form to say surprised. Okay. So when the robber put the pistol on my head, I felt stunned. Yeah, I was okay. like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. 
Any others? That one could be like in Spanish we say atonito. Yeah. Or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Now remember that some of the adjectives that we have here, they are synonyms. Mm -hmm. So, like depressed, discouraged, could be baffled, stunned. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments? No. Okay, so if you don't have any comments or questions, thank you very much for your time. We continue tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Okay, good Thank night. you, teacher. Good night. 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 Good night.